Hi Taurus, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly angel card reading and love reading for the week of January 15th to the 21st, 2017. My new subscribers, welcome. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. So Taurus, I have changed it up a little bit this week. I have pulled three tarot cards, Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. All the rest of the cards are by Doreen Virtue. But I also pulled an overall energy card. You guys have seen them before. Jody Berksma, Magical Times Empowerment cards. So for my new subscribers, let me just say if the reading does not resonate with you, please look at your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Um, especially this week, if your moon sign happens to be in Virgo or Capricorn, which is likely for a lot of you, um, amazing readings, amazing. The soulmate card came out in Capricorn. Um, a lot of you could even have Scorpio. Theirs, theirs was amazing. They had the relationship card as well. Um, and that really could absolutely be in your some of your Venus signs. So you might want to just check that out. I wanted to mention that quick. And also, um, you know, there's no gender. It's whoever it is for you. You know, private readings, that stuff matters. You know, definitely not in the generals. Um, and those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will be below the video. Um, seven days, seven to ten, give or take, um, definitely no more than ten days. Okay, so, we are going to start with your overall energy card. Okay, gentleness. It says at the bottom, Gen strength is gentle, true kindness has wings, love and action endures. Okay, so with this card this week, it's the overall energy card. You know, you're going to just let, you know, kindness grow within you. You're going to be gentle with yourself. You're going to give your soul... The love that it desires. You're going to focus on everlasting love and let it gently flow into the world. Um, you know, your gratitude knows no bounds and your heart does overflow with love and kindness this week. Beautiful energy, Taurus. Um, seven of earth all right this does represent your energy um seven of pentacles you'll know it better as seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry you know it is a card of you know reward assessment direction, change, but it is also, you know, perseverance, reaching a milestone, you know, un unnecessary worry, you know, a new approach to a situation, you know, but this card is, you know, the fruits of your labor, you know, things that you planted in the past are now beginning to grow. Um, and you're finally starting to see results with this card. Um, you know, or, you know, it could be, you know, for some of you, a change in direction. Whatever it is, I mean, we're going to look at the rest of the cards, but there's definitely no 
There's no fear in it. There's no need to worry. You know, anxiety regarding the, the, whatever this situation is, it's just, you know, it's, it's unfounded in her deck and it's, you know, to, to even take a vacation, you know, recharge your batteries. Right, we have the Two of Swords. It's the Two of Air in this deck. Okay, so it says, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending that there's no problem. So definitely, you know, trying to make a choice regarding something. Um, you know, head over heart decisions. I always see this card as, you know, heart and the mind are not on the same page. You know, it's choices. Um, choosing between two options. You know, whether it's two jobs, you know, two people, it's, 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 you're, you're, you're choosing between something. It's a decision. You're struggling with a decision. You know, maybe just even overanalyzing the situation, pretending that there's no problem for some of you. Let's see what the last card is. Page of Earth. It's the Page of Pentacles. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. So, all right. So, with this card, you know, some of you really could be thinking about going back to school. Those of you that are what are worried about, you know, money, you know, job, career, definitely with the seven of earth and the page of earth, that's definitely what I said before, I think, you know, definitely find, finally, you know, reaching a milestone, you know, being able to let up a little bit. Getting returns on investments. Just really enjoying the fruits of your labors, really. Of whatever it is that you planted in the past. Whatever you did in the past. But there's... Decision point here. Which would represent Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You know, and this page two, you know, it doesn't just bring opportunities for wealth. It, it brings opportunities for abundance, too. You know, if it's someone that you could possibly meet this week... You know, definitely would be, you know, someone between the age of 18 and 25. But, you know, who's, you know, dependable, trustworthy, patient. Um, probably enjoy studying but definitely good news I feel like for most of you that's what the concerns are for let's see what Archangel Michael says I'm sure we'll come back to this keep your eyes on your targeted intention okay so Archangel Michael is definitely guiding you on this path, on your life's purpose. You know, it's a signal that, you know, you're on the right path. 
you know, to, to, just to keep a steady eye on your goals, you know, continuously, you know, visualizing that you've already, you know, have the career of your dreams. Um, you, know, you see yourself helping people or issues. Just whatever it is, you know, any desires that you have, you know, is viable this week as long as you stay focused upon it. You know, the path that you're making, you know, your intentions, a reality, may, that all that may differ from what you are expecting, but in a good way. It's to, it's 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 more likely to exceed your dreams. Definitely. Okay, we have messages from the angel Chantel. I don't see her too often. And she's all about new romance is imminent, either with the newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So. You know, those of you that are, you know, hungering for more romance and passion... Your prayers have definitely been answered. New love is on the way to you. If you can, if you can, you know, open the door to this romance by opening your heart, and the more that you welcome this new love with open arms, the more romance will come your way. You know, it means that you need to, you know, express yourself. You know, romantically toward your partner. Be candid about your feelings, your intentions. You know, be playful, flirt. Um, for some of you, that could be really what, you know, maybe the decision is. Um, you know, you, this page, page of Earth is um, wealth and abundance. No opportunity for growth. It is whoever it is for you. Definitely new romance. Wow, Gemini just got this card too. I love this card. Synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So this is all about this card it reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. And because of your prayers and affirmations, affirmation work, you know, all the seeds that you that you planted in the past, all the work that you did, okay, you're attracting synchronistic events. And it's those chance meetings, you know, unexpected opportunities information that just happens to fall in your lap and other synchronicities that they're they're answered prayers you know this card you know heaven calls your you to pay attention to you know, the synchronicity and the serendipity happening in your life this week the more you notice those magical events the more they'll occur for you You know, you already know that there are no coincidences or, you know, coincidental or accidental co occurrences. But this card reflects, re you know, recent focus on, on positive thoughts, you know, which are being directed toward your desires. And a lot of times I really see this card as, you know, I'm just giving you some examples of, of synchronicity, but for a lot of you, it's probably just ironic how it comes in right, af right after Chantel here with the new romance. 
bumping into that person over and over and over again. And maybe the more you try to stay away from that person, the more they keep reappearing. And um, always, you know, when things like that happen, you know, in threes within a short, short amount of time, you know, that's the universe trying to tell you something. Should, and I should have told Gemini that, and I didn't. But definitely synchronistic events. And another travel card. Some of you really could be getting away. Um, this card is more of a spiritual you know, it says, um, an upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. And it is a card definitely of, um, you know, that, that you could soon definitely be traveling. But it would be to an important destination where you'll, you know, learn and grow. You know, maybe definitely, you know, for, uh, you know, at least one or one of you. You know, the page of earth would represent a young person leaving home, you know, going to school. Um, you know, for study. Um, you know, it would, it would be a, a spiritual power place or you could or you could really go to a location where you know you could meet this um, new romance for some of you you could even find a new place of residence you know just be open to your heart's inner stirrings about travel you know, and whatever it is for you definitely for some of you definitely a journey that I feel like would be your wish come true you know then others of you could definitely be traveling you know for a new career You know, some of you, your life's purpose may involve, you know, taking people on tours, like on holiday tours. You could review, you know, not just meet someone on vacation, but you could also re revise and renew your current relationship on some sort of vacation with a loved one. You know, some of you definitely just maybe need to push yourself out of your comfort zone and make this decision. And I think you will. That'll happen. That'll happen at the beginning of this week. Now, with love and relationships, you did wind up with four cards. But everything you do this week, let's not forget that it's all with it's all love and action. It, it's regardless. It's a, and it's all gentleness. So this card did fall out. Um, actually flew out. Forgiving and learning. And as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So for some of you, there's definitely, you know, things in your past that need healing. You know, it could be with family, friends. You know, but I love the fact that, you know, I think that there really could be a lot of enlightenment for you as far as that's concerned this week. You know, and it's angelically guided. It's your angels are helping you through this, whatever that is for you. You deserve love. You are lovable.
definitely. That's what you're wondering, deciding that this relationship could possibly be too good to be true for you. Stop that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like this... You know, if it's not you, it would be the other person. Always in my readings. You'll know if it resonates. Wow. Crawling in your soulmate. There's a card I haven't seen in a long time. Your prayers, affirmations, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yep. Synchronistic events. Keep bumping into each other. But there's illumination. There's enlightenment. There is... the word I'm looking for. Magnetism. Probably a romance of a lifetime. You know, that's gentle and it's love and action and it could be with an earth sign like yourselves, but it does not have to be. You know, sun, moon, or rising. Um, you know, for the rest of you, money, definitely new, new, definitely good news concerning your financial situation. Those of you worried about money, definitely rewards for your efforts in the past. Very positive week, Taurus. It really is. All right, guys, I hope this reading helped you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Um, I will see you guys back here with the morning Oracle cards. Take care. Bye-bye.